think they've got the power to overwhelm the Terror Blade early on. They've got this amazing push with DP Lycan coming through. Rotation, he is that gank, Leo style. He's down at the bot lane, but a nice avalanche there from Tiger. Will slow him down. He misses the astral step and the Aether Remnant, but he does find Boxy, and that'll be first blood. They've already got the Necronomicon 1 up on Koifka. He's got his level 6 now as well, so he can choose bot to lane. run down lane. MJZ uses the sick charges, will survive, but Boxy, he gets the Crypt Swarm. Still, MNZ is going to get a very nice trade for his trouble. You are just fine, but top lane, that's where the action's about to break out. Mickey is coming in from the backside, right onto the Beastmaster. They've got the toss out of the coil for the guaranteed stun, and they'll get the kill onto Frank. Still the turnaround now, Leo style, he's going to try and gank, and he'll get Insania onto Tiger. They don't hit the Aether Remnant. And Tiger move up towards the top lane. Gonna find moves as well, but Tiger, his smoke broken. They get the Dream Coil, that's all they wanted. The toss up, they don't even need to toss him out. Roshan, about half HP and Liquid, they are so confident that they are not going to back off. With this exorcism, it's very hard to fight into them. Still, now a TB Illusion going to slowly move his way in. Roshan getting even lower, but Thunder Predator still need to commit. There's your reflection now. Now the meta, they're going to commit all the way, but a massive Dream Coil is out from Mickey, connecting on all three, and they are going to clean them up. Leo, he's trying to sneak the Roshan attempt. Can he get it in time? He does. Oh. He gets the Aegis on the Void Spirit. The Dyer will claim the Roshan gold, and they are still going to kill the Void Spirit. Not to bot, but that one's starting to melt for the Exorcism. Oh, there's no way they can fight into the Exorcism right now. They're going to move right in. Moose, can you stop this? They need the whole team, but they need to take a team fight. It's just very hard. Without that Exorcism gone, how do you fight into this team? They're gonna try it. The bot racks now under siege. Toss back Tiger. He's caught one. It's gonna be the Murana. Moose. He'll get his Yules off. Mickey, he has the silence and he'll get the kill. Leo Stahl unable to help out. And it looks like they're just gonna have to forfeit this bot lane of racks unless Frank really wants to commit. He's gonna throw the roar out. They got the coil. Koifa about to die. Insania cannot keep him alive. Now MNZ, he'll come in. They need his damage. They'll go back onto the DP. Boxy, he's in danger and he's gonna go down as well. And they're going high ground again. Right smoke in. Trying to catch somebody off guard, but there's the exorcism out. They wanna try and rush this while Thunder Predator aren't prepared to defend. Now the TPs are going to arrive. There's your Glyph out. Boxy just going to frontline for the team on that Death Prophet. Moose dropping low already. But here comes MNZ. Now the jump in. Leo style trying to get it started. Mickey, a nice dream coil. Catching out two. They're going to hold their ground. False promise just in the nick of time for Leo style. He'll survive. But MNZ now. The silence. He can't sunder. They'll purge it off. The turnaround. He gets us under in time. Tiger's in trouble now. Tiger, he might just drop. Leo. He does pick up the kill. Onto the puck now, Mickey. He's going to try and face shift his way out. But they'll focus on the DP instead. Right onto Boxy. The DP, she can't heal herself up. She's going to die. Back onto Mickey now. The puck so darn low. Leo trying to get the control. But this puck is so damn slippery. It looks like he just might make it out. Or maybe not. Leo's not done yet. The Aether Remnant going to catch him. We go again, John Liquid. They're doing the same thing. They're trying to pressure that bot lane. Moonlight Shadow has been popped and Thunder Predator, they're reading them like a book at the moment. They know. Tiger, however, he had a sentry down prior to that last team fight. Frank looking to come in from the front. There's your jump in. Leo style. He'll get started right onto the puck. She's so down low. They'll get Boxy as well. The roar was there in time. Tiger trying to run and so is Koifa. He's going to be just fine for now as Moose is going to be the one to go down on the Marana. He'll run around trying to find the Oracle. MJZ still alive through the False Promise. MNZ now trying to find another target. Is this if they're fast enough? I don't have Coil for another five seconds, but okay, he's going to make sure they just get out of the pit. Jump in again, Leo Star. He just wants the DP dead, and it looks like Boxy is going to die immediately. Insania already with the bar of time, but the roar out. Frank, he caught Mickey. The puck's gone. Insane is gone, and Roshan's gone as well. But Moose is already on the mission to make sure he can't get into that pit. But it needs to come out fast. Look at MZ, he's got a satanic flying in. Not and only there's just nothing to stop that. He's got a paladin sword on top, John. Oh, beautiful. So the, so the heals coming out from his oracle are amplified to boot on top of the satanic. 
that's it's gonna be very very hard to stop this terror blade now let's see what liquid can do High ground, under siege, a nice toss back Tiger. That's a great start. They might be able to get the Aegis first. Silence out, MNZ still alive, we'll get Yules up. Again, he stands the secondary life, he'll go for the Sunder. Leo, he's in. Dream Coil though, gonna be committed. They might find the Void Spirit. He eats the cheese, but it's not gonna be enough. Another great toss back Tiger, just getting the TB again. MNZ needs to find a way out, but he might just lose his first life. But no, the Force Stump, the False Promise, it is there in time. He'll turn back around now with the meta, but has it been popped too early? Who does he target? He'll go after Tiger. They're still trying to burst this Terra Blade down, but Tiger, he's copying way too much damage. He'll die first. On the coin for now. They'll find the Lycan. The buyback's there from Tiger. But MNZ's not giving up. He wants at least one lane of barracks. Yeah, it's, uh, he might just get it. Yeah, they need Tiger to make a play again. It's all on the back of the Tiny finding that isolation. And it's difficult for a Tender Predator. The big issue there was MGC's Tiger. just not around to get the saves. He'll go for moves this time, but Fate's Edict was there in the nick of time from their Oracle. Now, well, who do you focus? Arrow does land. They found Boxy. That'll be Exism gone. Now Leo Star right in after Mickey. After the puck, they'll get another. It looks like they found Insania and they found Tiger. The Tiny's trying to run, but Leo Star is on the case and it's GG. Thunder Predator, the first game of the group stage will take a game off Liquid. Yep. Oh yes, uh, I'm on that train. I love the Raid King. Uh, we've seen some ridiculous Raid King plays going for the Divine. Yeah, it's, uh, still a good movement out from Thunder Predator. I love the emphasis mid. Oh. MNZ, that's a massive pickoff and Tiger manages to find it. When you look at both drafts and you ask yourself, in fact, hold that thought, because Frank, top lane, he's going to be in danger. They got the Frostbite, Roll, not going to be on target, but a nice kick back onto Frank. It's probably not going to be enough, however. Boxy gets the kill, and he might find a second as they do get moves. Boxy will go down to the creep wave in the tower. So we're going to have to see that come out soon. I believe Boxy oh, is Mickey. flying out his javel. He just committed the orb to try and farm, and they're going to punish him immediately. That's a very nice rotation from MJZ and Moose, and well, with that now, of course, Exorcism still not skilled up, so they aren't going to be able to abuse that, but they have the Skeletons, they have Maximum Spirit Siphons, so they can just dive the T1 Tower, and Insani is gone. In T1 now, there's just no chance of survival here. It immediately, even if it's just Insania. Anyone dying is good for Thunder Predator right now because they can go right into the T1 and they do go now with a great boulder smash onto two. Silence out. Moose doesn't have a follow-up roll yet, but they should have the control onto Insania to make sure they get the kill. But now onto the puck, the silence, the roar out. They're going to find a secondary. Mickey being caught. They'll try to turn now. Leo style though, he's just too healthy. He'll keep healing up, Tiger. He'll be the third to go down and Thunder Predator. Just so dominant already throughout this early game. Boxy, that'd be a great target. Moose, oh, he gets a silence off in time, but the roll is going to be off the mark. Boxy, still sticking around, will throw the swarm out. Insane, he's going to be targeted. They get the poison nova. Here comes Leo Style now, joining his team with the ulti. And Koifa, he will be the target. They'll roar him down. Tiger, however, does get a trade. He finds MJZ, and now Liquid. They're going to try and turn this. They got a big silence off, and they'll get the DP. Insania, even with the freezing field, but here comes MNZ now, getting the Crystal Maiden. But he's dropping quite low. He has the reincarnation up and he'll lose his first life. Can they find him a second time? I see. Not quite. He's going to be all right. Making him feel a little bit more, up, more worried up front if he's not careful. Oh, here we go. They found the puck. They got the silence. They got the roll in. But do they have enough locked out? Another silence. Another roll. The magnetized refresh. But it is not enough. Mickey, he'll be fine as Boxy wants to go in. Yeah, it was such a good remnant coming out there from Tiger to intercept the Raid King. They need MNZ to be able to stand in front, get the Raid Fire Blast follow-up, but... Oh. That's a big one. That is a very big target, and he is melting. Assuming they get the silence, they will be able to kill off the DP without those pesky heals flying out, and now MJ getting jumped on. They know they can tie him, and they're going to get another kill. The Enchantress to drop at moves. He'll get the team fight started, at least taking down Tiger. Tips out again from Leo Styles. They roll back in. This time it won't connect, however, moves. He's in danger. Frostbite is out, and Liquid. They'll punish the aggression now from Thunder Predator. With all the heroes they have on hand. 
Look at this, they want the Aegis gone immediately. Tiger, he's in, but the Aether Remnant not gonna latch on. Still MNZ, he has time to get his team here. They should be able to get the Reincarnation Life up first, MNZ. He'll lose the ulti, but his team is incoming. There's the rollout. They found the puck immediately with the Sans, but he'll use it off into Tiger instead. They'll find the Void Spirit. Now the runaway. Mickey still in danger. Leo can't stop him. They can purge up Koifa, slow him down, get the Venomancer kill, and it looks like they might just. A double kill for MNZ. With the Aegis, it just feels so impossible. They might have to try now. Moose, he gets caught out, but Leo Star does pop the ulti. He wants to go for the fight. Raw is there as well. They found Mickey. That's the one they want. The puck is gone. But Insania, Insania. freezing field. Moose, he's not going to be able to reach to stun him up, but it won't matter. That's your tier 2 top tower gone. Outpost can now be taken for Thunder Predator. And that's almost going to guarantee they're in position for the next Roshan. In fact, they found Tiger. They'll get the silence out. And with the damage output from MNZ, it's all too much for Tiger. He's going to buy back. Do they really want to fight? There are three lives on MNZ. But they fought back. They need to commit. But Mikke, he's been caught out. He'll use off the silence. The roll will not connect, but he gets roared up. Frank finds him. He gets the puck down. There's a buyback available. He won't commit, however. If MNZ doesn't have a team around him, he's his sitting dark. Point fuck. They're gonna break the smoke. MNZ gonna be the one to do it. His team now gonna back him up onto Tiger, but the Yules is out. Meanwhile, MNZ, his first life is gone. Danger for Thunder Predator, but they're gonna move in anyway. They're just going to go straight in onto Koifa. The Veno, Poison Nova will fly out, but it's not going to be good enough. Into Boxy, he gets roared up. Still not good enough, though. He's going to be just fine. Now Boxy, he'll chase down MNZ. Meanwhile, on the other side, they are going after the Beastmaster with the Coil. Insania does die on the CM. Still trying to control this puck, but he's going to be just fine. Mickey making his way out, but how far can he go? Meanwhile, Tiger dies to MNZ. This puck just all over the place will not die. And now Boxy comes right back in. Onto Moose. The get the earth spirit or maybe not Mers. he does drop but at what cost they found the weaver a triple kill out for the wraith king now mnz continues to move forward mickey trying to fight some trades he might get frank or maybe not the right click not going to be enough the stun is going to be avoided the yules is there mickey how long can you really survive like this i'm not sure he has much longer and he does an ultra kill out for mnz well mnz he has an aegis he has three lives again He's not going to wait for that level 25 timing, but rather just go high ground and start the pressure. Roar out, Frank. He found Koifa, but a four staff is going to save the day. Still Tiger now, jumping in. They frostbun up the Wraith King, but MNZ is not in that much danger. He'll be just fine, or maybe not. Another Frostbite is out now. They get the first life. Can they hold him down again? Aether Remnant will get started. MNZ now, BKB, run into Koifa. They want the Venno dead, and they'll get him. No buyback. <laughs> Trying to chip away the HP pool of MNZ, but he's almost got Reincarnate back up. He just needs eight seconds. Dreamcore, though, going to be in time. They can get the Aegis, and they do. Tiger, the one to get it. Onto Leo, he's forced to cheese up. MNZ, however, Reincarnation now back up and available. They frostbite him again. They just hold him down. The Boxy, stun, roll, oh, no. everything connecting perfectly. They found the Weaver, no buyback again on the side of Liquid. Onto Tiger now, he's dropping very low, trying to use himself up and just trying to survive. But MNZ's on the case, now Frank right in with the roar, just screaming at Mickey and they'll get another. Two buybacks have been expended, that's all Liquid have. Backing out, they're going back in, they've got another reincarnate in 10 seconds. They know the buybacks are missing on Liquid. Boxy has not bought back. He's oh, yeah. so much this gold is behind. Ridiculous. This is just ridiculous. Look at MNZ just ripping through with the AC. There's not much he Onto can do the Megas. Here. Yules gonna juke out the Wraith Fire Blast. Tiger gonna Astral Step away before the Sans came in. That looks like it's going to be Megas. They've got Boxy up in 15 seconds along with Insania, but it's going to be a bit too long. They're going to have to try and defend up against Megas, it looks like, unless Thunder Predator could decide to start a fight. Dream Coil. Reincarnation will go down again. He'll be back, though. Megas are up as well. Tiger, they're going to start a fight. They want to finish off this game. MNT right in onto Koifa. And that'll be Yveno dead. 
The bash is a bit too much. Boxy, right in, man fighting oh in the deep, and that's not a great idea. The raw was available. They'll get the Weaver. There's no buyback. That has to be GG. And Liquid call it Thunder Predator. They will start off their group stage with a 2-0 victory over the side of Team Liquid. And I know we said this earlier on, John. I don't think many people were expecting this kind of result in the first series.